Run up the sail. Seagull. Gotta be somewhere to dock around here, right? Sail. Have you ever seen so many ships? Not what I meant to do, but Never, it'll do. Nor has there been a gathering of kings so large as this. Hey, Have a look. Makes sense. Sigurd would be near the alcohol. Your clan is a foul stench, but we are strong, Ernie. Think you yes, can swill with strong. A Shall we lock horns? Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. Let's see your silver. Easy. What's a drinking game without a prize? I can't afford this. Let's do this. Fuck it, dude. Man your horn. Yes. I have an iron Strong with stink. Step closer to your face and say that again. I said your stench is strong. That's your only strength. Your stench. I will feed your teeth. Wrapped in your tongue back out. What are we drinking? Why is this so white? Whoops. I suck. Bro. It's moving too slow. It's fucking with me. Wow, by the skin of my teeth, Jesus. Thor himself could now drink me. Oh. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seat stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, hmm. Eivor. Leave it. What an asshole. Basim. Watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kjotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. Is this how your brotherhood operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stepping your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. We are seekers of justice. Shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark. ...to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. 
stealth training. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. How do I put my hood on? I bet it's in the quick menu, isn't it? A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. Like I have no arms. What and in case hell? I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. I like how this cloak is all like stitched together. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. Do I have to? What walk? were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? Stop it. You have to eat something before no. drinking that much. I don't want to talk to How you. How does that go? Feed before meat. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming? Eivor! You Arga shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harold's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. <laughs> Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The old thing will have started. I should find Sigurd. Whoops, not what I meant to do. Back to Sigurd. Haraldur er Haraldur. I wonder what kind of things I can buy in the shop. Come, come, don't be shy. You should always have oh. some of these. Merchants can be found in every large town. You may buy essential and rare items from them and sell your trinkets and valuable goods in exchange for silver. Okay, well. I have no arrows, so... Well, that's not true. I guess I can only buy one arrow. You couldn't have made a better choice. I can't buy made any of those. Can't buy any of those. Uh, we'll hold on to those for now. I'm sure I can find I a use for this. Later. We'll also hold you on sure to that there isn't uh, something else you wanted? Nah, I might. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Not sure what the best way up here is, but we're going to climb. Sounds like a lot of work to walk around. That guy looks dangerous. Oh yeah, I'd say so. Tell 
Tommy Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask... Who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Jor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? Mm -hmm. My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together, we fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kurtveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrat, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Hmm. Ivor would want him dead, but in the spirit of the council, I think we'll let the king decide. You are king of these lands, Harald. The decision must be yours. A modest and honorable answer. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harald, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? Uh -oh. What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die. Villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Damn. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. There was an ambush, Lord. 
Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death, but not at the cost of betraying my family. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Nice. Looks like we gotta kill King Harold or get the fuck out. Harold's colors. He is already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harold may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. I'll talk. Are you one of Harold's men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask. Are you one of the conquered? Did Harold take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father. Aftan the Black. Well, welcome to Thornburg, warrior. Nice. What a guy. Alright, we got some skill points to spend. Uh, I feel like I was heading this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that jump. Yeah, that's where we're going, for sure. And what's this down here? Last chance healing. You know, I'll probably need that, but for now, we'll go a different direction. Find and speak to Sigurd, okay. Go, my eyes. Looks like he's in a long house. You look like you know a thing or two about dice. Only I remembered how to get inside. Oh. It's Eivor. Open the door. Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The, the English will fight back. The wars will never end. Or they will push us into the Christian ways. Quiet, all. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. 
It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. Fine. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Kyotva's riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. They did tell us to leave, so why would they try and stop us? How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Speak to Sigurd at the docks. Oh, I like how he slides on the axe. This game is so cool. I don't like the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry? What? <laughs> Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let us tank to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look. Whoops. Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Stripes are his banner? What a boring guy. Sigurd? What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I will be his anchor, Lord. No, you must be his better half. <laughs> May Agil bless your voyage. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hoog. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! <laughs> An ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, 
All of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Order Valhalla! In a lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. Is that the same Sean that hung out with Desmond? How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. This is beautiful. I mean, you know, minus the whole... Aurora Borealis that apparently never burns away. Did you get my tea? Oof. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty, minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. They're hey, back. sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well... Most of North America just lost its GPS service, so it depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Hmm, let's take a look around first, shall we? You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. Interesting. Oh, I can't move. Sean has been busy. I see. Hello, Layla. 
Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. So we're not. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals, a passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team, maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, mm -hmm. if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. Okay. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. <laughs> 30 seconds, starting now. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. <laughs> gonna be in the animus for days at a time. That's quite nice. Soothing. What is that? Hmm. Let's have a look. Oh, boy. So many exclamation marks. I don't want to watch all this stuff right now. Although... Bayek. Oops. Feel free to pause and read. I'll do that later. I'm not gonna watch those now. Trash. Enough of that. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar and tattoo it on my leg. <laughs> Not a bad idea, actually. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. Ah, beds are overrated.
What happened to the music? All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. It sounded like Bassam's voice. 